Hello Hackaday, this is Dylan Brophy, and I just recently got my new NGT30 boards in the mail from OSH Park. It's, I was just upside down. Um, and I'm really excited because it has a variety of improvements, and I assembled one of the boards. So here we have the assembled board on an Arduino, which right now I'm just using for a power supply. I'll explain in a moment. Um, we have a, a PS2 keyboard port here. And additionally, uh, we're using surface mount components, finally, and the board is overall smaller, nicer. So, uh, I thought I would go ahead and test some 3D graphics programs with this, which I've been working on um, for a little while. And I would like to demo that. I just have to plug in the serial port. So now... I can walk around this cube, and we have my position and my rotation, 496 degrees, and then this is similar to an FPS counter, not exactly, but it's basically how fast I can draw three, the 3D graphics, which 34 um, frames per second is not fast enough, I'm going to speed that up, hopefully. And that way, I'll be able to make the NGT30 I sell on Tindy actually render 3D graphics. So, as you can see, I can look in various directions and then move in that direction and still look at the cube. The math isn't very accurate right now, unfortunately. I'm working on that. Um, the propeller chip doesn't have, well, the spin programming language for the propeller chip does not have a lot of floating point tools at all. So all of this is using integer arithmetic, uh, fixed point uh, math. So that's why it's not super accurate. However, other than that, uh, it seems to be working fairly well. And some of the glitches have to be fixed. But I'm very excited about this. I'm excited to make this, give the Arduino essentially higher quality 3D graphics on an actual monitor. And with the PS2 keyboard port, possibly make games or a better de uh, Arduino desktop, as you may have seen on Hackaday, that project. This will be very fun to play with. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this, and um, be sure to stay tuned for more info on this NGT30 I'm making.